So I guess I'm back again for a minute? Um, yeah, it's a, another one of those days where there's an earthquake. Uh, I'm going to real quick fish for a bit and then talk to people and see what they say about it. Oh, it's an earthquake or something. I don't know, man. Just a bunch of needlefish. Hey, Alicia. Would you like to try to see who I am? Okay. That's not fortune telling at all. Another earthquake, and again, I didn't see it in my reading. Yep, so sure enough, people will have things to say today. Interesting. Alright, what's the weather for tomorrow? Sunny. Perfect. Morning. Morning, Kyle. Another earthquake. I'm fine, of course. It knocked down a bunch of stuff in the shop, though, so my mom got really angry at it. Morning. <sighs> Kyle, good morning. There was another earthquake. You okay, Kyle? I'm fine, of course. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Nice seeing you again today. It's nice seeing you, too. Feel that earthquake? That one was pretty scary. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. It felt like the earthquake was really powerful. Whatever you say, Muppet. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. The walls of my room have lots of little cracks from that earthquake. What a pain. Now we'll have to hire someone to repair it. Yeah, actually, that would be really annoying. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. Wow, another earthquake, and I'm starting to think something's going on. <laughs> there are sure a lot of them. Morning. Good morning, Kyle! Another earthquake! It seems like I should get some sort of sign before they strike! I am the town priest, after all! Is a little divine warning so much to ask for? Good morning, Kyle. I'm happy to see you again today. Another earthquake. Fern and I are both okay. Oh, good. I'm glad you're okay. I hope everyone is else is alright. Um, I'm glad to see you're okay too, Kyle. Good morning, Kyle. I don't know what it is, but I'm always glad to ha I'm always happy to see your face. That earthquake didn't bother me too much, but the walls of my house are all cracked. Good morning, Kyle. I get so lonely when I don't get to see you. There was another earthquake. They they really scare me. They're frightening, for sure. If anything bad were to ever happen to me, Kyle, you'd save me, right? Of course. Because I am Mr. Hero Man. Do I have any char on me? I do not believe I do. I do not. Nor do I have any of your gifts. Oops. Good morning, Kyle. Hmm, another earthquake. I'm glad that the town is okay. But a priceless vase fell and shattered in my house. That's damaged enough, I assure you. Also, you know, the damage to the day in Coquille Manor. Good morning, Kyle. You look like you're doing well today. There was another earthquake. I wonder if anyone was hurt. Good morning, Kyle. Are you doing well? Good morning, Ray. I'm good, thanks. Another earthquake. I hope Rosalind's okay. Morning, kid. How you doing? Good morning, Douglas. I'm fine, thank you. Good gracious, another earthquake. What in the world's going on? Say, say, that earthquake this morning was pretty scary, wasn't it? We've been having quite a few like that recently. Morning. Morning. There might be hum hope for you yet, human. We had another earthquake. We'd had one of those just not too long ago. What's going on? Good morning, Kyle. They'll cause another earthquake. They always knock all my weapons to the floor. It makes me so angry. Morning, Kyle. Another earthquake. Yep. I believe that's everyone, except for Yue. I suppose I should go find her. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. We had another earthquake. Are you all right? Oh, my merchandise got scattered all over the place. It's a huge mess. It sounds like you had a hard time, Yue. Those earthquakes are happening a lot these days. What's with that? Um, They like making a mess. And I believe that is everyone. So, yeah, I, uh, I mean, yeah, sure. We started the day, let's actually do some quests. Guys, officially, let's back, <laughs> let's back, welcome back to Rune Factory 2, a fantasy harvest moon. Uh, let's talk. I want to talk to you for a bit. I was just playing up until the next birthday, so I could do stuff, but... You know, why not? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you saw the bulletin board? Yeah, but I don't really understand what you want me to do. I need to talk to you, Kyle, in our special place. Our special place? You know what I mean, right? Of course. Yeah, at least I think I do. Really? I'm so happy. I'll be waiting for you there, then. Running through the 90s. Boop, 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 doo If there's a special place for us, it is obviously the Cherry Blossom Square. Specifically the bottom left corner. This is the place we first met, Kyle. Yeah. And my father came running. I'll never forget the panicked look in your face. I really thought he was going to kill me. <laughs> yeah, my father can be intimidating. No argument. So Kyle, your memory hasn't come back yet. Not yet. Is that hard for you? Well, it's a little tough not knowing who I am, but... But what? I've made a lot of pleasant memories here in this town, so it isn't as bad as you might think. I hope I'm a part of some of those pleasant memories, Kyle. Of course you are. I wouldn't even have a place to live if it wasn't for you. Kyle, please don't ever go anywhere. Don't ever leave. Don't worry, I don't plan on ever leaving. I can't imagine wanting to live anywhere else. Besides, what would happen to my field if I left? Oh, so it's only your field that's keeping you in town. No, I mean... Oh, let me explain. What's going on here? Another earthquake! Don't you dare elope! Oh, Dad, not again. Look at you two. He was about to pop the question. I know it. So, this is one thing. Um, we, we discussed that there was an earthquake happening when I first got here, and that he just happened to rush up during that earthquake. That That's what it was implied. That was the first earthquake that happened. So I guess that was another earthquake that happened when he was running up? I know it's for the bit, but like... That's two earthquakes in 24 hours. Things are getting bad. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Please stop overreacting, Dad. Hey, who's minding the shop anyway? You and I are both here, so nobody, of course. That's not good. Think of all the business we might be missing right now. You've got to get back there. Mana. Go. Okay, okay, I'm going. But remember, no loping. We were just saying that neither of us would want to leave. It's a nice place. Your dad doesn't change, does he? Just how long does he plan to treat me like his precious little girl? I'm old enough to get married if I want to. <clears throat> married, huh? Uh, well, I mean, I don't mean I'm going to rush into anything just because I'm old enough. I need to make sure I find the right guy first. Like who? Got anyone in mind? What do you mean? Um, that's private, for now. Anyway, I guess I should head home. Thanks for coming to talk with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Mana. See you later. And, yeah. A nice little scene. Fulfill one last prophecy. Hmm. Give me just a moment to look at something. Yeah, okay. This one's a little dangerous, so I'll give you a little more than usual if you get the job done. Alright. Alicia! I hear you need your fortunes being proven true. Okay, I'll give you... Oh, I didn't need to... I already did this for the day. Kyle, I need your strength for this one. It's a pretty big favor. What is it? I want you to go to Trias Forest, Grassy Path, and defeat an orc. Is this for another one of your fortunes? Why does everyone think my readings never come true on their own? But yes, it is for another one of my fortunes. Will you do it for me? Sure, I can do that. Thank you, Kyle. That's why I love you so much. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, I kind of meant it that time. Oh well, you better get going. Aw, she was being a sweetheart. This is the grassy path. And there's my sword. Imagine the quest just being a single orc, despite the first quest from Tana being to, you know, have beaten, what, five or ten or something? I knew you could do it, Kyle. Thanks to you, my reading came true. What kind of fortune was it? Do you really want to know? Of course. Someone's fortune said that they would f find true love with a kind and strong man. So that was all just to test my strength to see if I'm the man of the fortune? You got it. 
Um, okay, so whose fortune was it? Um, oh, I couldn't tell you that. I have to keep the fortunes of my clients confidential. I'm a professional, after all. Hmm? But you've told me lots of people's fortunes before. Well, this is a special case. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Here's your 500G. Go ahead, take it. Thank you. Thanks, Cal. I'm happy I know I could find this kind and strong man. Huh, I wonder who that person could be. Something's really been bothering me. Please come talk to me. Hey, Kyle, do you think maybe you could come to the Trieste Force entrance later on? I need to talk to you somewhere private. Sounds important. Sure, I'll be there. Thanks, Kyle. See you later, then. Wow, I'm looking at this list for the first time in a while, and we're almost done. The girls almost all love us, and everyone else is just pretty good friends with us. Awesome. I've been waiting for you, Kyle. So what did you want to talk about? Jake, Jake has asked for my hand in marriage. What? Seriously? I haven't given him an answer yet, so nothing's official. What should I do, Kyle? Okay, so this is the thing. This is a thing. This is a really messed up thing. Because for the Let's Play, I want to continue working on everyone at a good pace and get everyone's max affection and everything so that I can be everyone's best friend and love and all that and show off every scene. But, a spoiler, Cecilia is not going to be the one that we officially marry. I'll show the scene for the marriage and everything, but we're going to leave her on red. <laughs> I do like this music, though. Um, what's there to think about? How could you say something like that, Kyle, knowing how I feel? Celia, I know you know how I feel about you, Kyle. About me? I'll be waiting for you, Kyle, for the day when you see me the way I see you. So, does that drop me? No, Cecilia still sits at 8. I will show the other two real quick. Don't do it! So does that mean you'll marry me, Kyle? Um, well, I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm so happy. I'll be waiting, Kyle. Waiting for the day we start our new lives together. Marry me instead. Really? Um, well, someday soon. I want to propose to you the right way, though. I'm so happy. I'll be waiting, Kyle. Waiting for the day you propose to me. And those are the three scenes. We're not marrying Cecilia. Not officially. And that hurts because I love Cecilia. Cece is such a cutie pie. She is one of my favorite girls in this game. She's not my favorite girl. And... Even if she was, there's a reason for the way we do the things we do. So, give me just a moment. We're going to say this. It's mean, in a way. It shows how stupid Kyle is. But it's the right thing to say, because promising to marry someone and then just not doing that is incredibly messed up. It's incredibly messed up. But we're so close. We are so freaking close. I don't even need to really give gifts at this point. Rosalind, please come see me immediately after reading this. It's very important. So I have an issue. The issue is I don't know if this is one of those it needs to be after 9 p.m. kind of situations. Also, she's not here. Where is she? Where is she? Where is Harvey Dent? Where is he? Where is Rosalind? Where is she? <sighs> Rosalind! <sighs> hey, Rosalind. Looking well, Cal. I've been waiting for you. So what's up? 
The truth is, there's been some talk about me getting engaged. What? Well, the suitor's the son of the head of a trading firm that does business in my father's company. According to my father, he comes from a good family, he's financially secure, and he's very handsome. But there's already somebody else that I've got my heart set on. So I turned him down. And my father asked who it was, and that I did want to marry, and I... Well, I, uh... I told him that I was in love with you, Kyle. When I told him that, first he was surprised, and then he started considering it. Then he broke the silence and said, <laughs> So you only have eyes for Kyle! I see! So, I've always wanted to try royal curry. If that Kyle can get his hands on it for me, then I'll know he's the right man for you! What a muppet. <laughs> well, you get the idea. Did you know that I love you, Kyle? Moreover, if you love me too, could you do this for me, even though it's difficult? Rosalind. Yes? I have my heart set on you too. I will overcome any obstacle that stands in the way of our love. My abilities as a farmer, as a miner, as a fisherman, as a lumberjack, and everything else. I promise to use all of them for you. Reminder, this is not the final quest, guys. This is the second final quest. This is where he mans up, takes passion in his heart, and lets it all out. And I sit here and I'm like, if you could do this for any other girl. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle, from the bottom of my heart. I know now that my love for you is not unrequited, and I'll never stray. Okay, if we clear this hurdle, we can start a new chapter of our lives together. So about the royal curry. The dish first made by a world-class chef using the finest ingredients. No matter what happens, you have to get your hands on one. I know. After you've got one, Kyle, come back first, come and give it to me. Then we'll approach my father together. No matter what happens, please find a royal curry for my father. However, getting one is not going to be easy. Do you have any ideas? Hmm, maybe my brother could tell us something. It might be a good idea to try and talk to him when he's in his room. Never mind, we're going to do this tonight. Why does this do this to me? Come on! Cancel! Bathhouse in crisis, help me! Julia, I saw your message on the board. You're worried about your bathhouse? Yes, could you listen to me for a little bit? Sure, go ahead. Okay, well, for a while now, I've been getting less and less business. So I'm not taking in as much money and it's really putting me in trouble. If things keep going like this, well, the store's gonna go under. I can't let that happen. I'm in such trouble. What can I possibly do? Well, that does sound terrible. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, either. I've got it. If I want more customers, I should find a way to get some publicity. Please, can you give me a hand, Kyle? Hmm? You want me to do it? Of course. Can't you say I desperately need some help? Mm, so what should we do? Well, I should probably get something rare to put in my bathhouse, right? Something rare? Yeah, something rare. For example, I hear that there's something called Meshalite Ore. It's supposed to be very, uh, really valuable. If I had something like that, everyone would come to see it, wouldn't they? I see, a Meshalite Ore? Yep, so Kyle, could you bring one back for me? Hmm, not again. But it works so well. I want one. Rumor has that you can find one in Machina Valley. But I've never even seen one, that's how rare it is. If I get one, it'll really draw the crowds in. Do your best to find one for me, okay? You can do it, Kyle. I believe in you. Mm, I'm not really so sure. If I don't get one, don't be disappointed, okay? Of course I won't. Thanks, Kyle. Alright! Onward to adventure! Running through the 90s, right on Sylvie's back. I think it's up here. No, I'm apparently on crack. Alright! Um, if it's... I know I said I'd try to find that gem, but it's not going to be that easy. Hey, what's that? No, it couldn't be, could it? Seems like too much of a coincidence, but I think that's it. Well, I guess I just got lucky. Hey, Kyle. It's not even going to let me look at it in my inventory. Uh, Julia, what are you doing? It's far too dangerous for you to be here. Well, you're just doing this down at my bathhouse. I can't leave you to, to do it all alone, Kyle. But still, coming along to a dangerous place like this? Well, at least you're safe, so I guess everything is okay. Yeah, nothing much happened on the way here, so is that the ore? I think so. Great, what luck! It's a good thing I came out to help, right? Yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. 
What's the face for, Kyle? Looks like you've got something else you want to say. Oh no, it's nothing. Let's get this back right away, then. Yeah, let's go. Eek! A monster. Want a monster here now? Whatever for the reason, I need to take care of it. Julia, hide. I'll take care of this. Yeah, take him out, Kyle. Oh, it does let me look at it. Mesh light ore. A rare, beautiful ore that can only be found in Machina Valley. You know what to use it for. You know what to use it for. Hmm. Can't be sold. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't do anything. It was all Sylvie. Well, I managed to defeat it. Julia, are you okay? I'm fine, but that was pretty scary. That's why you shouldn't have come. But how could I resist? I'm just glad you're safe. We found exactly what we were after, too. All's well that ends well. Now let's get this back to safety. Good plan. Okay. To adventure! That was really scary. Places with monsters are not places where people should go. So let me see the mesh light ore. I don't think you'd actually be able to get a hold of it. You're amazing, Kyle. You really mean it? Of course, I believe in you, Kyle. Totally. Is that so? I've never seen something like this before either, have you? Just looking at it, I know it's gonna work. Yeah, I can feel massive power radiating from it. It's really unique. Okay, I'm gonna put it on display. But actually, I haven't given any thought to where to display it. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put it right now. After all the hard work getting my hands on it too. Oh well, you can have it, Kyle. You're sure about this? I can just have it? Turns out I don't have any use for it myself. If you've got any idea what you could use it for, Kyle, go for it. Okay, well, I'd certainly like to put it to use. It wasn't easy to find, after all. Okay, I'll take it. I just hope I can find a use for it. Great, let me know what you do with it. But we haven't solved the problem with your bathhouse. Oh, don't worry, we can do that next time. <laughs> Still, I'm not exactly sure what to do with this ore. I can't just throw it away, but what should I do? You always been all over the place. She might know what I can do with this. I'll show it to her later. Okay. Time to go and do it. Also, I like how it's like, oh, you know what to do with this. And I'm like, do I? Do I really? I have no idea. I am dumb. I am strong of heart and dumb of everything else. What's up, Kyle? Can I help you out? Say, Yue, will you take a look at this war for me? This, this is... Boy, where did you get this? This is super rare! I found it with Julia, but I don't really have anything I can use it for. To start with, we were hoping to use it to draw new customers to Julia's store, but that didn't really work out. But I thought maybe you would have an idea how to use it, Yue? Oh, it sounds like you and Julia are really getting all sorts of adventures, eh, Kyle? It's nothing like that. Julia just asked me for her help. There's no need to protect, protest so much. You're at that age, after all. <laughs> anyway, do you have any idea how to use this? Let me see. How about making it into a ring? I'm sure Julia would love to see it transformed into a charming accessory. Girls love to see receive gifts like that. You know, jewelry and stuff. Not to mention that it would be made for something that will remind her of your exciting secret excursion together. It's perfect. Secret excursion? It was nothing like that. But a ring is a good idea. I think Julia would really like it. Isn't it? Now that it's decided, let's leave everything to me. I know a really skilled craftsman. We've had a long working relationship. Normally, getting him to create a ring would cost quite a lot of money. But this time, I'll use my connections to make it super cheap. A ring like this would normally cost 30,000 G. But how does 10,000 sound? I... Do I have to pay that much is the question? Yeah, I think I do have to. It's not one of those situations where you can barter. All right, 10,000 G down the drain. Perfect. Great, come back in three days and they'll be ready. Thank you. So, we're at 140K currently. We were at 150 before. So, you know, we're doing fine. Okay. I'm gonna check this last one because I'm worried this might be the final one. No, this is the second so, this is her 10th quest, but there is technically an 11th, but it's related to someone else. Okay, um, we're not going to do this right now. I'll save this for later, because she has two quests left, one from her and one from her father. So this is her 10th quest. In the same way this is, 
Yeah. We're almost done with every single quest in the game. Well, mostly. Like I said, there will be some more quests later, but that's not relevant now. So let's skip through all this now. So, I need a waste a good amount of time. I'm gonna go take care of all my chores for the day. I'll see you guys back here tonight. Time to pause! Okay. So you're back home, and I'm assuming that means that he's back home already. He is. Hey, Max. Hello, cow. You look a bit panicked. Is something wrong? Yes, well, sort of. I have to find this rare food called royal curry. But I have no idea where I'm gonna get some. Hmm, so you're looking for a dish that looks like this? Oh, is that it? That looks like it might be royal curry. Mm-hmm. It is indeed. Wow, Max, can you give it to me, please? Well, okay, I'll give it to you. For free. You will? Wow, thank you so much. You're a huge help, Max. Well, I can't believe you had this royal curry just sitting around. I feel so lucky. Oh, well, it's not just luck. What? Well, let's just say I know that what that curry means to you and my sister, and I approve. You do? Well, don't you, don't you have to deliver that curry to someone special? Off you go now. Be sure to get it gets eaten before it gets cold. Max, I just can't thank you enough. Don't give it a second thought. Well, off you go now. Be sure it gets eaten before it gets cold. Yep. Max is a good guy. Kind of odd that he knows about all this stuff, though. <laughs> no matter what happens, please find a royal curry for my father. However, again, when it's not going to be easy. Yeah. Royal curry. Royal curry, a curry loved by nobles. Requires a top chef to repair. Each bite raises one sophistication. It sells for almost 2400 all by itself. Oh, a royal curry? Hurry, let's give it to my father. I've done everything I could. The rest is up to fate. Aha, uh -huh, is this a royal curry? Hmm, just from the Rome I can tell you I'm in, in for a new experience. Come, Father, while well, it's still hot. Hmm, well, the truth is, oh, I got so hungry I went over a bit overboard and gobbled down enough pancakes for 12 people. But, but still, now they've put this royal curry in front of me, my stomach has started rumbling. I wonder why that is. I guess it's impossible to ever feel too full for a dish that smells this wonderful. Okay, I'll just have a bite. And here I go. He's totally going wild. He said he was full. I've never seen him like this. Oh. Father, how was it? My daughter. I can't think of a single person more fit to be your husband than Kyle here. This boy will have who has met even my most unreasonable demands. Kyle, you have my most enthusiastic approval. You may court my daughter. That is what you want, right, Rosalind? Of course, of course it is, Father. Did you hear that, Kyle? Now we can be official. Even on Facebook. Ah, uh, this feels like a dream, but no, it's real. Be good to her, Kyle. Of course, you can trust me. Well, I imagine you'll be needing some money. This isn't much, but please take it. 50,000 G. Oh. I'd say that if I had done this quest, I would have done this slightly different. I would have done this where, of course, he was looking out for his daughter and wanted that item. She wasn't sure what to do about it. And Max wanted the best life possible for his sister. So he made an outrageous demand like 50,000 G. And then, you know, our favorite... Resident Muppet over here also gives 50,000 G. So you don't lose out on 50,000 G just to marry Rosalind, but you have to have minimum that amount to show that you are wealthy enough to take care of her. I think that would have been a better way to handle it, because right now I'm sitting at 196,000 G. Because that's necessary. Be good to my daughter, Kyle. Now we can be seen out in dates in public. I think it's about time for you to graduate from the bulletin board. Oh, <laughs> uh, that made me smile. Good evening. The walls of my room have lots of little cracks from the earth. Yeah, okay, just that. All right, and that's the end of the day today. 
That's the final. Oh, God. That was the final thing we can do. And there's not many more requests left. Tomorrow is Sami's birthday. Sami, who we've known for a very long time. Longer than even the first person we met in town, Mana. It is Cecilia's birthday tomorrow. And because it's finally her birthday, we'll be giving her her, you know, birthday gift. And making sure that Cece's happy. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy harvest moon. We're gonna get to it. We're almost done with all this stuff. Once we're done with requests, it'll just be me showing the things I do. Like, during a new season, be planting and then taking care of the crops and otherwise just doing the birthdays and we're almost there i overestimated when i said 10 episodes because that was last episode that i said that i think that we have maybe three more until we can finally unlock some new stuff and that's pretty cool we'll see though see you all next time i hope you all have a fantastic day goodbye mm -hmm.